So you can kind of use this like beat markers. Um, you can let's start with a, a black background here from uh, Maps and Backgrounds, and then let's make this long enough so it covers the song. It's about 30 second song. So we'll do 30 seconds, and then we're going to add music. We can add that as the background to this. And we can add it as the background, or we can attach it to that. It doesn't really matter as long as it's going to play. Uh, and we have this track here, this black background track, to add markers to. So now I could go back here and I could play and then hit M wherever I think the photo should change during a slideshow. So next I'm going to add the photos. I'll go to my iPhoto library and have some photos here. I can use the samples. I'll add them as basically cutaways above this uh, black background. And as soon as I add them, I can shrink them, and you can see how it's going to snap to the marker, which is really nice. It makes it easy. Not quite as easy as beat markers, which would have just uh, been able to lay in a bunch of them at a time. I can lay in a bunch of photos at a time, but they're all going to be the same duration, which may actually work for uh, for matching to a beat. But this gives you more versatility, and it's relatively quick. So now when I play this back we'll see that the uh, photos change to the beat. The markers are so much uh, more useful than just for music. Uh, you can uh, add them anywhere you want for any reason. So for instance uh, like if I wanted to add some sound effects to this I can add some sound effects at the right points just by skimming through the video and adding some explosion sound effects at the right spot. Or even some flashes on the screen, or some other special effect, or putting titling in certain places, uh, captions. If I'm going to use titling for captions, that kind of thing. So anything you want, where you you have to kind of you want to snap items to a spot on the iMovie timeline, it's useful to use markers.